Anyway, sparring Spike. All right, I'll try to play fast. I always say really slow when I get turned against Spike. It's actually really slow compared to how fast he plays. Asking him how his PTQ went. Uh, hopefully that means he's just like playing in between rounds. And not uh, that his PTQ just went really poorly. All right, definitely turn one Lana Ralph is the last thing I wanted to see. That's that's what we got crushed by yesterday. Well, for him's pretty good, but in turn on Alf, he's on the play top of everything. Update the deck list. Yeah, this is absolute worst matchup, I think. We'll see. Maybe maybe there's a worse matchup for us out there, but pretty damn bad. I don't believe uh, my deck can win from from this point, but I'll I'll try. I wonder what he's flashing white for. I don't believe I can uh, win from this point, but I would have to get incredibly lucky. Probably would have had to draw like two zero spells or something. I already like adding the zeros though. Adding more zeros. Maybe maybe the key maybe that's the key, just honestly play make your outcomes insane. Play all zeros. Maybe play Narset. You wanna go full combo? Narset finds you a zero and it like takes some heat, just buys you a turn. But I guess you want to play statue on turn three. Honestly. Wasn't even so bad. All right, let's do our sideboard cards. Let's cut anything that's expensive. Oh, I got Pithing Needle. I'm not too sure actually. Should I cut the Nexus? Ferrarian's a good one to animate, so I don't want to cut that. Cut Karn? No, I think Karn is how I can win. No, I think Karn is just good in almost every matchup. I wonder if he can kill a creature. I wonder if I should... I mean, I think I have to cut some free drops. I don't know if my deck functions if I cut these cards. Rebuke? I already have... Yeah, Rebuke is pretty good. That was my plan yesterday because I had nothing else. Maybe Rebuke should be in. But what do I trim? I need to. I need my deck to still function. Potential. One thing about Rebuke is that sometimes it forces you to play artifacts you don't want to play. Forces you to play your zeros before you play Zai or Sahili. That's the downside. Am I supposed to after the draw step or gust the five four? If I gust the five four, play a five four again, and they have an elf. If I gust the elf, they play something. Let's slow them down more. I'm not sure. I don't think we need to play the second one right away.
Did Twitch tell me you broke standard? It is. Did you actually? Another really good draw. All right, I need to buy some time and basically draw a paradoxical outcome. I'm gonna turn one of the server into a five five. Broke it was white black sewer. Nice. All right, pretty brutal. I'd have been better off if my animator was just to rebuke this game. I don't use mocks anymore. I just played for full amount, even though it means I don't get to use it this turn. That's pretty ideal draws both game turn on elf, turn two well only reason I didn't have turn two's champion is because I uh had Ether Gust. All right. Pretty good draw. Hopefully, uh, hopefully he doesn't have another Knight of Autumn. It's gonna be hard to beat my toughest matchup when they draw really well. That's something that's not gonna happen. Damn. Wait, what? Fighting a 6-6? Six, six? Oh, yeah. Years. Time flies when you're in the yellow hat tank. Doesn't it? Things get smart. Thanks for the year and a half support. And now you're just carrying me on the, the podcast, too. Well, it's more like we're carrying Harry, but don't tell him I said that. Well, I already love Briber Spurs, as opposed to the other zeros we were playing. It is huge in this matchup. It can, it can definitely be the difference between winning and losing. This is buying me a ton of time. Killed Animator. I mean, it forced them to kill a servo instead of killing my statuary, so... Statuary. Alright. GG's. Tough matchup. We already knew that, but I like the changes I made. I don't know about animator if it's worth the sideboard slots. I mean... I had more the blue-green version in mind that has... Silver in denial. They have Oko to turn your 5-5 into a free-free, I guess. Yeah, maybe it's just like rebuke. Yeah, it feels like the only creatures that have in their deck is Steel Leaf and Questing Beast, because that's all they seem to be playing against me. His Galta is not much better. F4 once upon a time. Yeah, maybe the plan is just to jam a bunch of rebukes after sideboard, even. I mean, honestly, even maybe stuff like Essence Scatter or. All right, we haven't played against Mono Black yet, so it's going to be interesting. Okay. We'll see if this... I'm hoping this is at least, like, a 50-50 matchup, or else, obviously, we should just scratch the deck. Yeah, Lost Rugby be is definitely not as scary as the other two. All right. Pretty good draw. We get at least one token out of Karn. Maybe this is bad against Fatal Push. Yeah, I guess Karn sucks against them. I guess I was supposed to plus. Wait, they could just attack it with Muta Vault. And that's them one damage.
Could build the deck more around Paradoxical Outcome and play maybe four in our set. My draw stuff's not been pretty bad. Yeah, I have like 18, 18 lands in my deck. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I see that was a really good draw. Alright, hopefully they can't finish me off. Should be able to survive a turn and maybe win next turn. How much is that Mutavolt? I don't think these aren't these like in the promo packs or something. I think Mutavolt's probably just whatever, right? Oh, uh, maybe I was supposed to stay. If I played that for zero, yeah, I might have messed up there. Two lookouts and I'm at two. Nutter's Eye. Nutter's Eye, Nutter's Eye, Nutter's Eye. I mean, I have Briber's first. Oh. I guess I have to play Briber's first for one. I hope they don't have a way to tap. Uh, good. They have like a smuggler sculptor in hand. All right, I have to go off. I could, I could do it. Could be done. I wonder if playing stature is worth it. Two mana. Or an extra card. Already played two POs though. I think maybe it's worth it. To leave me was five blue, four blue. I think I have to play it. Maybe it only cost me one mana. One, two, three. Bounce the tap one, I guess. Four, five. I don't think you want to bounce the Zai. Basically, looking for a nexus here. Basically, looking for a nexus. I did not find. I did find a Briber's first though. Oh yeah, I can just recast Briber's first. Cast Briber's first for one. I can cast Renegade Map. I can cast. I just have to cast another Renegade Map. And can I play a Karn and make a dude, or do I need my blocker? I need, f I need my blockers. I play Briber Spurs for zero. Then I play, can play Karn. And minus probably, but it means I'm dead to the lookout next turn. All right, I guess I'll just say go. As long as they don't top deck, I can live and survive. They need like another lookout 
or a copter. Not sure I died to anything else. And if they got fatal push, that's not good for me. Driver Spurs has just been absurd so far. I mean, we might lose every game still, but if this was an Ornithopter or any other zero. Yeah, it's MVP this game. It was kind of MVP last game, even though we lost. But I died to Copter because they can just crew it and drain me for one. It gives them basically anything that lets them tab the, the lookout just kills me. That's why it's so good in the deck. That's why they play that card. Oh, at least they're in the tank, so. Who can is posted his uh, MC deck? It's pretty much the deck he was playing on his last day of streaming. Junt. Done cat. Or casualties and beanstalk giant. I really like beanstalk giant. I don't know if it's good in uh without the clover though. Oops, that would have been a sad way of losing the game, just forgetting to tap uh doubt. Does this do can block too? This can block as well. Might be able to kill them on my turn. Oh no, they, have a mute. they kept a mute of all smart. Oh no, they're just gonna play. Oh no, they have free blockers. No, there's no way I can kill them. Oh no, they have infinite blockers. I'm just dumb. All right, so. Uh, just gonna play a bunch of stuff. I need to try and get some damage in if I can. Play, play my cards. Play Emery. Play Bright vs. Purse full. I don't think the game's gonna go that long. I'm gonna do four. Then I want to play Karn. I guess I could have done more. I'm dumb. I, I didn't realize I could just cast Karn for zero. Yeah. I have a blue floating for no reason. Okay. Let's see what damage we can push through here. One, two, three. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll do that, more or less. Yeah, I could have done Bribers first for one less. And um, use two mana to sack something. I have a Mox Amber in my yard. I think I just keep chump. Oh. It's all quadruple block. I'll sack. Oh, you know what? I, you know what I should have done? I should have done that first and then got back my Briber Spurs. I want to make sure my dudes are lethal. They are now. Yeah. Very quick bone saw, I guess. All right, I think they have one turn left to, uh, but they, they get two draw steps. I 
Not sure if I could have done much, much better. I could have sacked. Um, I could have sacked maybe one more artifact in case I draw Nexus of Fate. All right, can we dodge it? Otsies, okay. Scooped. Yeah, I guess they're dead on board. All right, undefeated lifetime against Mono Black. They might have very own plague in their sideboard, <clears throat> which is a problem. To bring in second needle. I think Copter is a big deal. And yeah, Briber Spurs was just. Can you imagine we played a league yesterday with no Briber Spurs in our deck? What a move. Can I beat Verilon Plague? I need them to be in Field of the Dead. So that people don't have Verilon Plague in their sideboard. Chat was shit talking bribers first at the end of the stream, really? I don't know if it was shit talking or he's just saying people saying like Maybe I need Antiquities War. I'll trim uh I'll trim some of these guys until we see if they have uh until we see if they have uh, their own plague or not. Let's check how many, how many uh, Briber Spurs channelfirewall.com has in stock. Did I just buy them all? Hey, 25 cents. How fitting, Mr. Easy Mode, thanks for the sub. Open his model gaming down to four. The real life, uh, the real life, real time blessing from, uh, from Mr. Easy Mode. Thanks for the support, buddy. Hmm, kind of on both these cards, right? Crazy one says your content is gas and shall I from thank you. Thanks for saying that. Uh should I play the needle now or save it for post dealy? The next turn I'm gonna go. Huh, what am I even gonna do next turn? Well not playing needles probably just really greedy. I'm probably gonna be like have a ton to do with my mana. Right. Well, I think I'm still gonna be able to win just because they mulligan into oblivion. But I guess yeah, Antiquities War kind of helps against that. I don't imagine they're gonna take anything but Antiquities War. Sorry, the Antiquities War. Wait, what? Oh. Questionable. Questionable at the best. Doesn't even make tokens. Makes actual factual uh five fives. I do need to flood the board next turn. I do need to one shot them with the antiquities war this game. Did we break it? Honestly, the deck's pretty good, I think. I don't know if it's tier one, though, but it's, it's shown promise. We had a winning record in the league. Yesterday. 
They're just dead, right? Are you worse to splash green for Oko? <laughs> Dude, that's the last thing I want to do. <laughs> Play Goose and Oko. I'm trying to. You can't bounce the tokens with outcome. Yeah, I see this game should have been much closer than it was. They took Arsahili when they had Virulent Plague in play instead of Antiquities War. Wait, I have two trophies? I don't know when trophies was in Pioneer. Must have been another life. Is that standard? They have hooked me up with the standard technology before the MC. 24 lands. Eight mana dudes. I think this land's this deck's probably like a land or two short. Because Goose not super reliable. Neither is incubation druid. Looks fine. I can cast turn on Emery. Yeah, okay. I think we need to keep adding uh zero mana artifacts, honestly. It's kind of a fine line. It does get rid of Island. It does get rid of Sahili, right? Do I need to practice against Ragdos Fires of Invention? Is that a... Uh, who's... How many... Do we know who's playing that in the MC? Oh, that sucks. of Pioneer yet. Kappa hat. Feel of the Dead, yeah. I Feel of the Dead is fine. fine. Pretty fun. I'm, I played a bit of, I tried playing a bit of Modern, but I was like off playing Oko and every deck has Oko in it. I've got all like in two leagues. Night of Autumn, yeah. I at bottom is pretty good in standard. Um, let's see. Is looking pretty grim. I was happy to draw the first few lands. Not the last seven. I'd rather have been pretty heinous. I mulliganed this game too. Or it seems like it could be good. What should I cut for it? Is Emery just a pipe dream? Trades one for one and they don't they don't have it. Kind of nice. Maybe pitting needle? Excess of fate might be good in this matchup. I'll give them another turn to burn me out. Could bring an ether guys, but I'm not even sure it's good against deck that has all the one mana spells. They have that card in their sideboard. Wait, what? Hang on here. Where am I? Can you do that during sideboarding? I didn't even realize. You could sort 
Huh. Memory's no good. Yeah, I agree it's not great, but it dies, it's, it still trades one for one. Is that that bad? It forces them to have it. I guess all my other cards are probably just better. Yeah, I, was, I was trying to look up if Smash was legal in Pioneer. I'm pretty sure it is. I think someone cast it against me the other day. If no, maybe that was modern. A lot of uh, weight on that witching well. <laughs> Uh, did I just get rid of Emery? AKA the Pipe Dream. Disciplined. Disciplined Scry. Maybe I should have played Terraria on turn one actually. See what I draw and then sack it, play Wetching Well, have like a bit more info about what I want to do. I could play Crane in this deck. Maybe like one, one or two, like some really small numbers. Not sure what the hit rate, hit rate would be though. All the Zai was a solid like three, four, one or something. Hopefully that's enough to uh, win me this game. Wait, did I keep that in? Oh yeah, I said I needed it against a burn plan. Damn, I got greedy. All right, I'm just gonna. Uh, I, I need to stop making these greedy attacks. I just don't know what's in what's in the format. I figured their haste creature was just a one two. I wasn't gonna chump. This is kind of a disaster. I mean, this is a token might be okay with statuary. Pretty hard. Yeah, it's not so bad. It gets me. I basically need a PO, right? A two card closer to PO. I did deck for modern playoff. Not really. I'm not even sure I want to play, honestly. Modern seems kind of awful. Maybe not awful. Maybe the games are fun to play once you know what you're doing, but the whole like Oko oh, Fest thingy doesn't very appeal to me. Uh, can I sack a witching well first? Nope. I draw Nexus every turn. Maybe I can board him to death. That's not. Alright. I mean, the super aggro decks is. This, maybe this is like not the worst matchup, though. They have a lot of creatures and one toughness creatures. I have a bunch of Zion Sahilis. Don't you well after Nexus cause shuffling? Oh, did I? I don't remember when I played the, the second well. Didn't find your words in moderns in terms of Oko? I don't think so. I mean, maybe? There's not that much Oko in Pioneer. What about Ratchet Bomb? 
I think Ratchet Bond's just too slow and awkward. It's not the if, if you need a ratchet, yeah, you're not gonna save yourself with ratchet bombs. This is not a gonna be another tough one. I was hoping to get paired against mono black and field of the dead, not like mono red, mono green. This moderate's probably okay. Spirits, that's tough. Maybe it's a bad sign that I don't want to get paired against any. Not sure what plays Oko. Mono green splash blue to Stompy Dag. Does that play Oko? I guess I need to bait spell color somehow. Oh, and now they have Wanderer. Yeah, I messed up. I should have played my first burst as a... Play my first burst. Give me enough. Hey, Graham, my day's fine. I did, did a lot of... Grocery shopping, some cooking. I'm just getting my skull dashed, uh, magic online. Uh, I mean, my opponents have been just drawing perfect hands every game and every matchup. Kind of rough. I guess, I guess the decks are pretty strong in Pioneer. It's not standard where people stumble. Might need Rebuke to fight uh, and their spell colors. Play Traveler's Amulet instead of Renegade Map because it comes untapped. I think both these cards were legal when the deck was in standard and Renegade Map was the better card. This format could be different. Maybe in this deck Traveler's Amulet's a bit better because you don't have two mana cards in it really. Whereas the standard deck had a lot of two mana cards and it was a really big deal that you could sag the map for free on turn two. So I could I could see that. I don't know if Karn's any good in this matchup. The flyover. What am I trying to do? I guess I'm trying to win with with Zai pretty much. Does that benefit from a white spot for things like Teferi or Mentor? Which mentor? Monastery mentor is not. I guess Prowess. Did we go? I think Zai is probably better than Mentor because it makes artifacts. You don't really need more of that effect. I'm not even playing for uh, the fairy. Fairy wouldn't really help us. Her kill's pretty fast. Mentor does kill really fast. Mentor outcome, yeah, maybe. That card should be pretty strong against them. Especially since they didn't have a one drop. Didn't kill me too, too fast. Oh, that was probably a card I could have boarded out. For what I'm supposed to name. I guess I'll get Zion's play. What removal does the deck play? Do they have like Deputy of Detention? Kind of sad I didn't get to use Emery. Like that. I'll check Zai against the Spirits deck.
wonder if outcome's just bad against them. Thought I wasn't gonna attack anyways. They don't have something like Deputy of Detention, something to get rid of uh, mass tokens. Maybe they have Double Lord. I mean, they have another one since they cluttered Pitting Needle. I'm not sure why you counter Pipping Needle. I mean, Terrarian would have been a good one to counter. One is pretty good against the Statuary. You have like potentially a lot of mana, but really, tokens are not going to pay for it. I have a lot of one ones to tap. Yeah, they need to start drawing lords. A lot of them. The gate on my microphone is kind of weird. Maybe because my mic's a bit foreign. I mean, gates are always a bit weird, right? Is it better now? I need to be more more mindful of it. I'm not an expert, so maybe I didn't set it up perfectly. I think that's a pretty solid attack for them. Something like that, maybe? Like an okay block? Not sure I'm gonna stream super late tonight. I need to wake up early tomorrow, 7 a.m. Get the turkey in the oven. We, uh, my wife's American, so we celebrate Thanksgiving, but we celebrate it on Saturday because it's not a holiday in France, obviously, so people don't get their first day off. I guess I'll sag the Ther Therarian first. Get value out of my Emery, maybe draw a Rebuke. Then I can bounce Emery. Have you ever had a turd duck in? Is that the crazy concoction? No, I've never had anything too crazy for uh, Thanksgiving. A duck into a turkey or a turkey into a duck. I've heard of it. I've heard the legends. All right, do they have a counter spell? <laughs> Not Americans' minds are blown right now. Why exactly do you have to put a duck into a turkey? <laughs> It looks like I do a lot of nothing here. A lot of nothing should still be good enough, but... Oh, I played my cards in the wrong order. Let's cry after Emery. I guess I should have kept these lands on top. Bone so is kind of nice. Equip. I guess I'll just keep, uh, I'll keep two mana up. This way uh, they can't just Deputy of Detention all my tokens. I think that's probably a, a sen sensible thing to do. Watch a VOD and see if I like the gate. Well, the problem is I have, uh, maybe you can't hear it. My my fan is. I, I need a new uh, graphic card because the fan on it's really messed up. That was why I had the gate in the first place, but maybe I don't need it anymore. I even attack here? I don't think so. What is taking for? I haven't had too many people complain about the gate. Maybe maybe people just watch the stream on mute.
I don't know if Deputy is in there. Deck or not, this is a sideboard game. I could definitely see, you know, Deputy being a sideboard card. Seems good against a mono green deck. There's a mono green deck has fight cards and stuff. Manga's so funny. I feel like your Twitch chat persona is pretty different than your streamer persona. Maybe I don't watch your stream enough. Alright, I'm gonna block enough that they feel enticed to sack. Uh, I'm also gonna chomp a bit, I guess. So many monk ass. Bone so he's ready. I'm gonna lose this game. It is it's probably out of sheer laziness. I don't think I should lose this game ever. Why did I bring back a bone saw? I have freaking Terrarium in play. Nice. A monk ice face. Never practiced that. Let's see what the, what does monkass look like. How do you do a monkass face? I don't know if that's very good or not. I'm just gonna run it back. Maybe Sahili is better than something. Oh yeah, Pitting Needle. Dang. I don't know, they countered Pitting Needle with spell color for some reason. Oh, Selfless Spirit. Ah. That's why they countered it. Any sweat on my forehead? Honestly, as a Hall of Famer streamer, I feel like, I feel like I'm at a huge disadvantage. I don't get to stream my PTQs. Life, life is so unfair. Todd, Steve, Todd, Todd Anderson gets over a thousand viewers every time he streams PTQs and I can't play PTQs. The life and misery of a Hall of Famer. Give up my invite? Yeah? Put your money where your mouth is? Play them anyway, get banned. Yeah, I've I've done that before. I'm I'm good. It's not very very fun. I've uh, told that story before, but maybe some people are in there. Uh, one year, I played in regionals, and um, and I didn't realize I was not allowed to as someone who has. Is that any good for me? No. Right. Oh no, I have a land on top. Still not good. Um, yeah, so I played regionals. Didn't realize I was not allowed to play as I was already qualified for Nats. And I, uh, you know, stayed up all night, or not all night, but brewed a little mono blue deck. It was the, the format, it was standard, and I was playing... No, my deck had... Solemn Simulacrum and it was Mono Blue Control. What was my six mana card? What was my payoff card? I don't really remember what was in that deck. Anyways, I show up in the morning. I say hi to all the judges, you know, including probably the head judge. They say hi back, they don't say anything. I play the tournament, I get second, I think. I think I end up losing in the finals. 
Maybe it was just Swiss realms? I don't remember. Anyways. And I'm not just bragging, it's relevant to the rest of the story, obviously. I wouldn't just shamelessly brag about getting second to regionals. I get second, etc. A bit of time passes, and then Dex gets Dex. Oh, I should have just played my statuary. Dex get published, you know? And uh, Hélène Bergeau was uh, working for still working for Wizards. Sees my name, and she actually knows the rules. And she's like, "Why did Why did the thief play in regionals? He's not allowed to." So they find out, and I get punished. I get barred from nationals for the year. That was my punishment, which makes like. Which doesn't make a ton of sense, honestly. You complain to nationals because you were already qualified and you qualified again? I don't know, just it makes, like just give one more spot to... Anyways, that's not... Anyways. Point is, had I not done good, I would have actually been fine. And had I played my stash fee last turn, I might have been able to win this game. But yeah, had I not done good in the tournament, no one would have ever known. Like, Elan would have never seen, no one had just been able to play in, in Nationals. So it's kind of, kind of ironic in some ways. Dude, I'm dead, that's 11 exactly. What can I do here? Yeah, I was not paying attention. I should, I should have played Statue really last turn. All right, uh, let's see. Maybe I'll get extremely lucky. Oh wait, I could draw a Mox, right? Mox, one time. Bottom one. I bottom two, I think, actually. Does that do anything for me? Probably not. Oh, no, that's actually pretty good. Never mind. I do have Satch right here. Uh, do I want to use Emery? Probably going to bounce it, so maybe I should. Oh, I didn't bounce Emery, but that's because I'm a genius, because my out is Mox Amber. Wow. Just, just making the right play by mistake. Oh, we're kind of doing it here. We're actually kind of doing it somehow. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> that I forgot to bounce Emery, but it was actually the right play because it gave me the the Mox plus Zai out. Might still not be enough. If they have anything good, I die. If they don't, I probably win next turn. All right. All right, I should cast Nexus first. I guess I could cast it in response. Nexus shuffled my deck, so I want to try after. There's some pretty good draws. Should attack with Zai before tapping out. Wow, that was that was a sick game. <laughs> Thought I was drawing dead for a second. Never drawing dead. Draw seven. Well, I didn't draw a single land. It's really unlucky. Okay. 
probably a pretty good sign if I didn't draw a single land. All right, let's see if we can find our nexus here. Yeah, and I was being ironic. Yeah, we have another PO. Didn't even need my rebuke. Boop, 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 boop. And generate so much mana to tab the mox, play another one, and another one, and another one, another one. And another one. <laughs> Could have played Sahili, I guess, at some point. Yeah, screw Sahili. We don't need Sahili. Sahili is like, I just need to find Nexus. Secure to win. Secure to win. All right. Uh, I'll cast PO again. Where's the Nexus? Dang, the Nexus. I got a review in hand, yeah. Game's over. Not our PO though. Yeah, in most of my deck. Just need to make sure I keep enough blue mana. <clears throat> Open up not scooping is kind of unreal. I need to have Deputy of Detention in their deck or Sleep. I just play one. Yeah, you just need one for these spots where you can go for the entire deck, but you can't actually kill them in the same turn, so... I was playing a Nether Flux Reservoir for that, you know, same purpose. That works too. But the reason I'm playing Nexus right now is a one for blue Nexus safer. The, the reason I'm playing um, Nexus is that once you're going off, it's only two mana. Whereas the. Um, The Etherflux Reservoir is actually 4 mana. What was another card we were thinking of? I can't remember. This is another card that was a bit like Nexus, maybe. Emrakul? Emrakul is pretty interesting, but Emrakul, they can kill you, right? You get an untap step. Approach? Well, approach is white, so that's a problem. Approach you have to cast twice. Approach is kind of cool. If you have two whites, you can probably cast it twice. But, I mean, it seems worse than next one. Wow. Okay, I see why they didn't scoop now. Makes sense. It all makes sense. Ugin. Oh, yeah. Ugin was another one that was kind of. But Ugin, let's say I'm in the same spot. I find a six mana Ugin instead of Nexus, but it doesn't really do that much. I don't know. I think, I think Nexus is actually pretty cool. Also, Nexus, like, yeah, just was pretty solid. How many minutes of slaughter was that? I don't know. Wasn't keeping track. Banefire? Banefire implies you have to have kind of infinite mana, which I'm not sure. You have 20. I guess once you get going and you have Zion play. Yeah, Nexus has more utility early in the game, though, earlier. And you, it doesn't have to splash. What about Kozilek? Kozlek doesn't end the game, though. They get an untap stab, they can burn you out, they can, I don't know, however, you know, they win, they can beat you. 
and keep that hand. Ether grids. Ether grid's kind of cool actually. Help you against in the green matchup too. Is these are great Lego? Another spirit deck? Wait, what? Oh. That happens sometimes. You can play against the same opponent if it was their like last last match in their league and they fire a new league, you can get paired against them again. Is like not ideal, I guess, but not very. Not treat a matchup I was looking to play twice. For a second, I was like, "Am I crazy? Was that not the match? Was that just game two or something?" All right, what now? It's not just a statuary. Shameless bait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Don't have six. Oh, I have six. Deflate Karn. Deflate Purse plus Karn. Oh my god, that was really, really bad. But, yeah, that was pretty bad. Am I at nine? I think I have to do that and try and go up next turn. Alright, am I dead on board? Fuck. I'm dead to any spirit. I'm dead to that spirit. I'm trying really hard to sit in a correct position because my left knee has been hurting me. My knees have been hurting me. I sit like in terrible, terrible positions all day and I'll keep doing that. It's weird. It's almost like it's almost like I'm so used to sitting in bad position that sitting in a good position is like hurting some of my muscle. It's kind of embarrassing. How did I sign one last time? I think that's how I sign. I guess Pitting Needle is pretty good against Wanderer. Maybe I should have both Pitting Needles in my deck. Forgot about Wanderer. We looked into a standing desk. A stabbing desk. Uh, I thought about it, but I heard like kind of mixed reviews. Doesn't sound like standing is good for your knees. Don't you get? To, don't you need to? Well, that blows. I mean, we're playing 18 lands. I guess it's going to happen some of the time. I could gamble. What if land is my top card? I don't think I can win on mulligan. Are they mulliganing? I don't think I can win on mulligan to five with this deck. I guess I could have turn one Emery. I'll mulligan. I mean, this hand doesn't really win. I don't think so. I don't want to scoop them up, honestly. Just never winning this game in a million years. The desk was upside the standing desk. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, it is like way more expensive than a normal desk, I guess. That's the downside, so if you need it, but. Perfect draw. Play Cornucopia? Nah, it does nothing. It's worse than... Eh, it's probably better than Bonesaw, actually. I haven't equipped Bonesaw yet. Yeah, it could be better than Bonesaw. By, like, a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. I'm just gonna jam my car. Actually, I could have maybe tried waiting one turn to jam that. Oh, never mind. 
fine. My review doesn't do anything in Wonder anyways. It was a tough league. We played against all pretty fast decks. The other one, like, we beat Mono Black. The Mulligan 4 one game, though. And then we beat that Blue White Spirits deck once, which I didn't think I could really do. I think the deck's kind of good. Maybe not tier one, but. I'm more hoping to get paired against, like, some Fuel of the Dead decks. I think it might line up nicely against the Black decks, but maybe not. Maybe Fail Push Nazis. Kind of hard to go off with Zion and stuff. I've not played Jeskai's Ascendancy. I haven't played too much Pioneer. Let's focus on Standard. All right, I think I just had kind of time for one league tonight. Wake up in six hours and a half to take care of the 